same topic from the last class we were talking about this equation and we derived this equation and we were basically talking about the saturation profile so this is one of the example of saturation profile the y axis denotes water saturation and x axis denotes distance from the injector well now injector well is located at origin and at some finite distance at some constant distance from this injector well there will be one producer well so this distance will be a constant value which can be denoted by capital l so what we can see in this diagram and what we have observed in the previous class is that swc to swf the saturation blocks from swc to swf will travel at same speed or they will cover equal distances for a given time let us say t1 so for t1 time they will cover equal distances from swc to swf and also swf will remain constant so for different times they will travel different distances but the distance traveled from swc to swf saturation blocks these saturation blocks will travel same distance and therefore this zone is called as stabilized zone and if you talk about the zone in which swf the zone in which there are saturations from swf to 1 minus s o r in this zone different saturation blocks depending upon their saturation will travel different distances and therefore this specific zone is called as non stabilized zone so with the help of frontal advance equation this is the sort of saturation profile which we obtain these are three different profile for the same reservoir at three different times so this equation basically defines this profile and this is how the front will advance now if we talk about the actual scenario this is a saturation profile again you have saturation on y axis and distance from injector well on x axis so before injection this will be the initial state which will be denoted by swc because this value of saturation is the minimum value of saturation which will be present at, at each and every point in our reservoir so swc is present before the saturation and in the reality in in the actual case this is the type of curve which we obtain now if we add the effect of gravity and capillarity so not only we are adding the effect of capillarity but we are also adding the effect of gravity and this is the type of curve which we are obtaining so you can see that there is a deviation now what else we can observe from this curve is that this saturation this point will be the fastest or we can say that saturation which is slightly greater than swc or almost equal to swc will have the fastest speed that is it will cover the maximum distance in a given time t and as the saturation is increasing the distance traveled by the saturation blocks is getting reduced now there are the two different nature of the curves in this case in this case from swc to swf there is a very sharp change in saturation for a very small increase in distance there is a very large increase in saturation although there is a step wise increase there is not a very sudden jump the increase is step wise but these steps are very small so for a very small change in x there is a very large change in the value of saturation and the final saturation is swf in this zone now beyond this point beyond this point what you can see that the saturation is increasing in a stepwise manner again but the increase in value of saturation 
with increase in value of x is comparatively very very small so we can say that this specific value of saturation will remain constant for a long period of time almost constant not exactly constant but it will remain almost constant that is these saturation values will be somewhere around SWF all right so whenever we inject a well sorry whenever we inject water whenever we inject a water and it has a front so whenever this reservoir is flooded with water it will have a front of water and this front will be dominated by SWF in that same front these saturation values will also exist but their significance will be very less because for a very long period SW will be, SWF will be dominating so therefore the saturation of flooding front is denoted by SWF so this is the actual story about the saturation profile which you will you will not find in any standard book and moreover we do not use this specific profile because it would it would it would it would make the process more complicated and to keep this equation simple and keep this whole process simple we follow this profile so we consider this as a straight line and moreover if we talk about the very initial case in which we neglected the capillary term from the fractional flow equation this is the type of curve which we which we will obtain now at a spe specific distance x there will be two different saturation values and the main issue behind this interpretation is that at one distance there are two saturation values and these saturation values have no relation between them because there is a stepwise increase till this point and beyond this point there is also a stepwise increase so there is an incremental change with change in distance but at some x x distance from the injector well there are two random values of saturation which does not have any specific relation so which does not make any sense one value of saturation is high one value of saturation is very low and there is a sudden jump at the same points at the same distance so that's why this interpretation was rejected and to keep things simple we will follow this profile